Time started to rush by, and Bluefeather found himself waking up from sleeping. His body was perched comfortably on a log. Getting up and stretching, he found himself confused. How did he fall asleep? He jumped down, looking around. Finding a figure running quickly towards him, he jolted back, and the cat nearly trampled him. Bluefeather looked forwards to the figure, quickly realizing it was a cat. The cat was bleeding badly. Blood stained their pelt, and they had awful wounds on their flank side and neck. Studying the wounds carefully was clear as inflicted by another cat. But the stench of blood was too strong to figure out who did it. Uh, don't hurt me, the kitty pet yelped, lowering. Thankfully, it did not look like the cat was coughing up blood. The next scratch wasn't too deep. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Bluefeather slowly approached the cat, his eyes soft and welcoming not to spook them. The cat was breathing heavily, their own eyes showing in clear terror. Bluefeather pulled back, slowly sitting down. See? Won't hurt you. What's your name? The cat blinked, rising slowly, his eyes darting from Bluefeather to the nearest escape. Oakley? He muttered, his eyes now landing on Bluefeather for a reaction. But Bluefeather was already turned around, looking at some plants behind him. Oh, that's a nice name. He muttered before picking up some leaves and moss. What are you doing? Oakley questioned. Your wounds. You can't just let them bleed. The cat slowly looked dead at themselves, instantly letting out a yowl. He didn't notice how bad his injuries were from the rush of being attacked. Shh. Bluefeather hushed. Oakley nodded. His eyes shaking as Bluefeather placed the moss on his wounds, soaking up the blood. He used some tree sap to stick the leaves under the wounds in hopes to stop any new bleeding. There, he smiled. Oakley looked down. I look silly, he muttered. Like a small tree. It's better than being a bloody mess, right? Oakley's eyes narrowed at the comet, his eyes clearly struggling to hold back tears. Bluefeather walked up to the cat's side, keeping a respectful distance. I'm sorry, I should have been more considerate, he muttered. Oakley shook his head. No, you, no, you're fine, he muttered. Thanks for helping. Bluefeather nodded, pawing at the ground. He raised his head, looking up at the sky. Birds flew by, tripping their songs and calls. You know, when I was a kitten, my mother would bring bird feathers. My father would create his own stories of what the birds went through. Oakley turned to him, tilting his head curiously. When I was an apprentice, a younger cat, I would listen to the birds' songs. It's always been soothing to me. I still do it today, just not as often. Oakley closed his eyes, his breathing starting to level as he untensed, drifting his head to the melody. A loud cough spooked Oakley, causing his eyes to flash open. It's okay, it's just a crow. Bluefeather stood up and started to walk around. Oakley let out a large breath, his eyes darted around. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I can't go back. They'll kill me, he gasped. Mind if I ask who? Bluefeather blinked a glance. I don't know, Oakley's voice shook. All I know is that stench of death was strong on their fur. The one attacking me was gray with yellow eyes. Oh gosh, their eyes. He lowered, shivering. Bluefeather's eyes widened and his tail dropping. He knew who it was. That was Moon and her crew. You're safe now. He bowed his head. I'm Bluefeather. I don't believe I told you my name.